Oh, uh, I think probably a bewitching revolution is the one I'm most proud of. The the basic idea of that is you play as a as a communist witch in a sort of near future dystopian capitalism. You come into a a district and you more or less like help the residents of the district improve their conditions. You do tarot readings, which encourage them to unionize. Uh, you set up community gardens. You organize squats. You slowly sort of take over the city, all building up to a kind of insurrection revolution at the end. Very good. And a, a communist witch. That's not an angle I've thought of before I saw that game. <laughs> uh, well, that, that was very inspired by uh, Sylvia Federici, um, Caliban and the Witch. Um, oh, yeah, so tell us about tell us about that book. Uh, well, yeah, I, I'd say sort of the, the core argument is that the witch hunts, which occurred in Europe around, I want to say, 1500s, maybe earlier, they sort of have a similar position in the history of capitalism as the enclosures or the slave trade or the colonization of North America. Witch hunts were a sort of foundational violence of capitalism um, involved in destroying pre-capitalist gender relations uh, and establishing sort of capitalist patriarchy. And so within that position, the witch is a sort of pre-capitalist revolutionary figure. I'm just looking here. Do you know what year the last witch was burnt in Ireland? No, no. 1895. No way. That's pretty horrendous, (laughs) isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That is pretty unbelievable. And it was a a guy, he burnt his own wife because he thought she was a fairy. Wow. So it's not that long ago, like. No. Uh, And I think uh, Sylvia Federici does an excellent job of tracing how these sorts of things, things like enclosure and the slave trade and colonization, we sort of, you can tend to think of them as moments that happened at the foundation of capitalism that sort of set up this system for the on, an ongoing period. But in reality, it's, it's violence which structures capitalism across the entirety of its history and is still foundational 